Kelly Slater, what is there to say about the man? The GOAT, an 11 time world surfing champion and one of our most popular guests ever on the show. Also, the most competitive athlete I have ever met. For Kelly, the competition is fantastic. For his opponents, sometimes it ruffles a few feathers. As a kid, I was so, I was so determined to win. It made me feel important, it made me feel special. Um, it made my life feel like it was going to be complete or successful. Um, I, there was, there was, to me, there was no chance I wasn't going to win. It was, it was just, I was going to win. It, it, it wasn't like, I might do all right. You know, that wasn't my goal. And I, uh, I don't know. I just had this belief that if I really applied, I could figure out figure it out better than the next guy, and I was going to be the one on top at the end of the day. And uh, so that's why I, I think also my losses hurt a lot along the way, especially world titles that were close or events that were very important to me, but more so world titles. Um, <clears throat> but to win eleven titles, I don't know. Sometimes I'd like to have the perspective that it wasn't me and it was someone else and I'd like to see what that looks like from the outside because it just seems normal to me. I don't know, like I said to you before, I found the thing that I'm best at and I, I really believe that. And um, in order for that to happen, I think a lot of things had to occur in my life as a kid and growing up and along the way that, that formed my decisions and formed the, the person I am and why and how I do things that allowed me to be successful in that environment. You talked about introspection and looking back on it, talking to Mick and Parko again, who I know you love their episodes on the show. Um, they both hey, said... Don't, don't take it personal, man. I haven't watched all of Brad Pitt's movies either. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't take it personally, brother. They, they both said you were the most competitive person that they'd ever met, whether it be surfing or playing ping pong, I think was the... Uh, description Mick used it was interesting what you said about your childhood and then being introspective any man that continues to come back for that many times after that much success must have a tremendous competitive spirit where does it come from what continues to this is the real gist of what we need to talk about where does the drive come from to continually back up when you can sit back on your lounge chair and smoke a pipe and say well I've done it all I don't need to do this again mm. um I think the the competition kind of keeps you young. It keeps you active. It keeps you uh, gives you a, a good. For me, I, I find it, it gives me a good reason to be in shape and keep my skills sharp. And being good at something it makes it fun. And um, so, so you know, if you if you feel like you can keep evolving that and, and improving and learning that keeps you like young in your mind and, and, um, and that longevity is, it's a fun thing to do. We were talking about the, the negativity of being competitive. So yeah, no, it, 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 when you're a competitive guy and you're beating people, it gets on their fucking nerves, man. They hate it. And so they try th those people who can't handle it. They, they want to make you the bad guy because they can't handle it. And that's really the truth. Um, you can take competitiveness too far, for sure. Um, but if you're trying to succeed at something, it's like all's fair in love and war, right? When you're, when you're just highly competitive, so much of your life can revolve around that. And, and you identify with people through that. So that can be probably annoying to people, you know? Because you're, you're always switched on. And you're, always, you're always in this mode to try and use whatever you're, you're aware of other people and you're, you're maybe you're mistrusting of other people and stuff like that. But, um, but if they're your competitors, I've, I found a lot of times throughout the years that my competitors who were good friends of mine would kind of bag on me for, for being so competitive. And, you know, the truth was I was, I was winning a lot of those heats and world titles and it was probably annoying. <laughs> yeah. I can understand that.
Good on you legends for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. Love that you are getting involved in the channel and the show. If you want to hear the full episode of any of the podcasts from the clips you've been watching, just check out the link in the description. It will take you straight there. Now, if you would like to subscribe to the official Howie Games YouTube channel, which would be really cool, just click on the button right there and you will be a member of this community. There are so many other clips, as you can see just here, excerpts from the show with all sorts of superstar athletes, so check those out as well. Thank you again so much for joining us on the Howie Games YouTube channel, and as always, peace and love.